Good afternoon, this is Anurag Shrivastava and today I am at Fortis Memorial Research Institute, Gurgaon, one of the finest hospitals in the country. We never dream of even getting our newborn or even kids pricked by a needle. We know how much it feels when doctor vaccinates the young one. But there are certain unfortunates who have to undergo blood transfusion because of certain blood problems or the problems in their bone marrow. One of those conditions is called thalassemia. Sickle cell anemia is another such problem for which patient has to undergo continuous blood transfusion apart from cancers of course. Till, till some time there was no cure for this but we say where there is will there is way and with the advancement of the medical technology and the research that has been gone into such kind of treatments we are now having a treatment known as bone marrow transplant but the problem does not end here only for a bone marrow transplant to be successful it has to be a 100% match yes this was the case few years back but, but we have Dr. Satyam Kateva who has, who has been trained at US in pediatric bone marrow transplant which is very very specific and specialized field. You would find people, you would find the doctors who are bone marrow, uh, bone marrow transplant specialists but may not be pediatric bone marrow he transplant has specialists. Co uh, comprehensively in pediatric bone marrow transplant at Canada and Cincinnati. Now he has worked on a technique and he has in fact mastered the technique of doing a bone marrow transplant with just 50% matching. We have with us Dr. Satin Kadeva to throw some more light on this. After, the, after talking to Dr. Satin Kadeva, we'll have one of the survivors of such problem who has undergone a successful bone marrow transplant with 50% matching. We'll talk more about this Thank with Dr. Satin Kadeva for introducing this wonderful new life-saving technique to the rest of the world. Now the most dangerous and the most important obstacle in a successful bone marrow transplant is the first thing is you have to have a very good HLA match that the donor can be from your family or it can be from outside the family. Now in a country like India and uh, maybe some other developing countries finding a hundred percent matched donor from maybe Europe and America is a far-fetched idea because that adds some 25,000 US dollar at least to find that match. Now if you do not want to go for that hundred percent match donor then the option left are either you are lucky to have a hundred percent HLA match brother or sister or you don't but nature has given us a hint and based on that people started working. When a child is born, 50% of its HLA comes from mother and 50% of the HLA comes from father. But surprisingly, when the kid is in, inside the mother's womb, he is just 50% match. But there is no problem, there is no rejection, there is no GBHT and the life starts from one cell and in nine months it completes and it gives us a beautiful complete beautiful human being and working on to that technique now we have devised this 50% match bone marrow transplant which we call haplo identical bone marrow transplant the two major problem with 50% match transplant are either the patient rejected in the transplant because this is just 50% match or the donor stem cells because they are only 50% match they react inside the patient's body and that is called GVHT but with this new technique we have sorted this out and even the rejection is less and the GVHT is less and in fact I can say they are even at par with a 100% match brother and sister transplant that's, that's something very very great that we are here for you sir because, because we have seen people who see their kids die in front of their eyes just because you do not get a matching donor. The other option is to get yourself registered in the global registry system and it takes months, years and I don't know whether these kids who are suffering from this kind of disease have so much time. Yeah. 
to go for. The biggest challenge is that as a doctor, as a transplant physician, when you tell some family that, okay, you need a bone marrow transplant, but you don't have a mad sibling. So if you are a you are living with a disease like thalassemia, sickle cell anemia, maybe you have some time to wait on. But if you are suffering from a disease like leukemia, blood cancer or aplastic anemia, so then you, you don't have time, right? You don't have a donor and then the chances are you will succumb to the disease. So that is how science evolves. So these were the patients who were first subjected to these 50% matched transplants because they didn't have a choice. A blood cancer patient who has relapsed and who is going to die, they don't care whether you are 50% match or 100% match. If you are lucky enough, you will have 100%, right? But if you are not lucky enough, you are going to die. So they started with 50% match transplant. And the techniques we are using in this 50% transplant is one is based on the US, we call it Baltimore Protocol. It was uh, developed into the John Hopkins Institute in the United States of America. And the other technique which is based on, that's from, that starts from Germany, so that's the German technique and we call it TCR alpha beta haploidentical bone marrow transplant. Now, leukemia, aplastic anemia, the family understands and everybody understands, but the big challenge in thalassemia is that here is a disease which can be kept under control with blood transfusion and some iron chelation. And if you do a transplant which is 50% match and God forbid me, GVST comes up, then it's like you have cured one disease but you have given the next disease. But fortunately with the time these diseases have been developed, these transplant techniques have been developed in a way that now GVHT is almost at par with 100% matched brother and sister. And uh, with TCR alpha beta transplant which was earlier started at uh, Germany and then it was a few more transplant were done in Italy and now we have started doing this transplant here in this country. So that's 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 the hurdle we have overcome and here comes this boy because this is a live example that we can do things like now here is the boy who is who came to me just at the age of like three and a half years and the, the gentleman the daddy of this father uh, the boy said that okay doctor uh, maybe I don't have a 100% match brother and sister, but the blood transfusion practices in my country are not safe. He is from Iraq and uh, either he will succumb to either the disease or he will acquire HIV or maybe hepatitis C which is ultimately going to threaten his life. So he decided that okay, I want to take the chance of hepatitical bone marrow transplant and this is not experimental therapy anymore we know now because the results are in front of us and uh, he opted for he was not just and here is the outcome in front of you we did his 50 percent transplant from and we, the donor was her sister she was just just more than 50 percent nice transplant now he's already like day plus 250 post bone marrow transplant he's all the test post transplant are like normal like you and me he is 100 percent donor cells there is no gbht there is no rejection he is like a normal kid like you and me and that's what the quality of these transplant is. Anybody who needs a transplant, we can give a transplant to those kids because every kid will be 50% match either from dad. So that makes the equation very simple. So if you are having, God forbid, but if any of you is having a problem like thalassemia, sickle cell anemia, aplastic anemia or leukemia with your kid and you have a solution with Dr. Kateva, with which is just 50% at and that is what he said. Each and every parent, brother, sister is a 50% match for sure. So, in nutshell, it can be said that today BMT is or bone marrow transplant, as we better know, know it, is a 100% solution to these diseases.